Welcome one and all to another venture of Exia's Live. As always, I'm your wannabe benevolent host, Exia. And joining me today is my beautiful girlfriend. Anyway, reading came up with the name, finally. Finally, her own mm -hmm. nickname. She's moving on up in the world. Mm -hmm. Even though you're only like four foot nine. Anyways. Go I saw the challenge. So I saw on YouTube people doing like first sentence challenge. So you just read the first sentence of a book, see if they can guess it. If you can't guess it on the first sentence, I'm allowed to read more. Uh, but he has to guess the title of the book I'm reading. So this is the book. I don't know if they can see it there, but that's fine. I'll read it afterwards. At the beginning of the book. Okay, gotta find it. Ah, are we doing prologues? I would prefer to start in chapter one. <laughs> okay, chapter one. But prologues, I guess, would be fun. No, I'm doing chapter one. Blank squinted up at the red sun, which hid behind its perpetual screen of dark haze. I know it's of the Mistborn series. Black ash fell lightly from the sky, as it did most days lately. Oh. Uh, you could tell me to keep going, too. I'm trying to remember, uh, it's not the, the second series, I know it's by Brandon Sanderson. I'm trying to think, uh, do it. I'm the thick flakes fell straight, the air stagnant and hot, without even a hint of a breeze, the light and blink smoothed. So glad we don't have to read names because I cannot pronounce that name. Okay. It's Finn. Huh? It's Finn. Huh? Yeah. I don't like that. It's like a new name or something like that. It's her men for him. Uh, I'm trying to remember the book title. I know what it is. And you can give up at any time. Or I can keep reading. The Well of Ascension? Nope. Do you want to do three guesses? I say three guesses. Mistborn in the Final Empire? Nope. The Final Empire? <laughs> no. You have one more guess. I'll consider that as one. He sighed, leaning back against the earthen bulwark. Looking over Blake, his town. How long? he asked. Blake scratched his nose. His face was stained black with ash. He hadn't given much thought to hygiene lately. Of course, considering the stress of the last few months, Blake knew that he himself wasn't much to look at either. Alloy of Law? No, nope, that was a last guess. Which one was it? The Hero of Ages. I knew it was one of them. I couldn't remember what the other one was. But to me, after the Mistborn series. I should give half a point for knowing it was of the Mistborn series. <laughs> that doesn't count. I should get half a point. That's no. all I'm saying. No. Okay, chapter one. I knew it would begin with the end. In the end, it would look like death to these eyes. I have been warned. Not these eyes. My eyes. Mine. This was me now. Host? Yes. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. This is the third book. Blake hit my arm, enjoying the newfound power that he could control thanks to Blake's training. 
I hate you so much right now. You know it? Yes, it's my second book. Yeah. So he wrote this book, so I was making sure he knew his work. In the beginning there was chaos, a great bottomless pit in a dark universe. The lightning thing? No. Heroes of Olympus? Yes. I knew it was one of the... That's actually one of my short story books. So Heroes of Olympus by Philip Freeman. He got right. Okay. Ready? I smelled blood as soon as I walked into the room. <coughs> A blood? A blast of snow-laced air accompanied me, swirling around my black coat, clinging to my hair and clothes as I shoved back the door. Daughter of Smoke and Bone? Nope. The space beyond was small and dirty, with rotting tables scattered about the floor and still drum, sat at every corner, thick smoke pouring from the mouths to hover near the roof. Rune and Rising? Nope. One more guess. An ancient ceiling fan, half its blades broken or missing, spun limply, doing little to disperse the choking air. Every eye in the room turned as I stepped through the frame, and once settled a on me, didn't glance away. Hard, dangerous, broken faces watched intently as I passed their table, like feral dogs scenting blood. I ignore them, moving steadily across the creaky floorboard, feeling nails and chips of glass under my boots. I didn't need to take a breath to know the air reeked of sweat and alcohol and human filth. Oh, well, last guess. The Eternity Cure by Julie Piper. Which I thought was funny because it's the one you traded me. I was thinking it was that, but it's just like, is it the vampire one? Just the like the that I just... The night sky over blank was alight with the magical crescent moon. Its brilliance made the eyes that coated the city and the blank where we just had our showdown with the fallen immortal in a rogue blank, shimmer so that everything around me seemed touched by her blank. Three guesses, make them count. I think it's so one too. No, because I know which book it is, I'm just trying to... Destin? Nope. Burn. No. No shoot the gun, so I don't have that much uh redeem? Nope. Tempted. That's gonna be my next guest too. <laughs> it's a shame we're not doing five of them or deaths of them. I am a socially awkward man boy. Infinity. Yes. As soon as you said, I go and get the by Sherilyn Kenyon, her most wonderful young adult series. No one is staring at you. I promised myself. Not <laughs> any more than that. No one is staring at you. No one is staring at you. But because I couldn't lie convincingly, even to myself, I had to check. Beyond. No. Yeah. No. As I wait, wait, oh, that's not it. As I sat waiting for one of the three traffic lights in town to turn green, I peeked to the right. In her minivan, I should say that name was not a good way, but well, in her minivan, Blank had turned her whole torso, torso in my direction. 
Her eyes bored into mine, and I flinched back, wondering why she didn't drop her gaze or look to shame. It was still considered rude to stare at people, wasn't it? Didn't that apply to me anymore? Then I remember that these windows were so darkly tinted that she probably had no idea that there was even me in here, let alone that I caught her looking. Breaking down. Yep. I would have never probably guessed that one. Seated in the castle room of the blank, blank leaned back in her chair. It's past four in the morning, she said, adjusting the folds in her crimson silk dressing gown and crossing her bare legs beneath the wooden table. This had better be important. Perhaps if you hadn't been reading all night, you wouldn't be so exhausted, snapped the young man seated across from her. She ignored him and studied the four other people assembled in the underground chamber. All male, all far older than she, and all refusing to meet her stare. A chill that didn't have to be. A chill that didn't have to do with the drafty room ran down her spine. Thinking at her manicured nails, Blank schooled her features into neutrality. The five assassins gathered at the long table, including herself, were five of Blank's seven most trusted companions. I know what it is, but I cannot think of the title. Hmm. Fallen Kingdom? Nope. This meeting was undeniably important. She knew that from the moment the serving girl pounded on her door, insisting Blake come downstairs and not even bother to get dressed. When Blake summoned you, you didn't keep him waiting. Thankfully, her sleepwear was as exquisite as her daytime wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It cost nearly as much. Still, being 16 in a room with men made her keep an eye on the neckline of her robe. Her beauty was a weapon, one she kept home, but it could also be a vulnerability. Blink. Assassin's word. Yep. It should have been a good day. It was late spring, a warm sunny Thursday and school was out because almost half of the teachers had called in sick. Even better, the kids knew that there weren't many teachers who take a sick day on Thursday and then come back to school on Friday. That almost certainly meant a four-day weekend. For most of those kids of Blake, it was a good day, but not for Blake. The day had started out well, but it had turned sour pretty quickly. Blank was on the run again. His sneakers pounded across the huge mall's polished floor tiles as he darted left and right around the late afternoon shoppers. The left night. The pyramid? Huh? The red pyramid? Nope. Behind him, three of the mall's security guards were shouting for everyone to clear the way. He couldn't understand how this time they were so close to catching him. Usually he was able to give them the slip in a matter of seconds. And then he glanced back and spotted his marked playing cards spilling out of his pocket, leaving a handy trail for the guards to follow. And it's up in the of the character. Blank threw the rest of the cards into a trash can, vaulted over a wooden bench, ducked under the outstretched arms of the clown, selling overpriced helium balloons, skidded around Blink's ice cream stand, and raced up and dip, up the down escalator. Panicked parents dragged their children aside as Blank apologized his way up the moving stairs, 
sorry, sorry, coming through. He emerged into the sprawling food court and couldn't resist a smile. He'd been worried that the recent flu epidemic might keep people away from the mall, but it was quite the opposite. Um, the virus, is that you? The place was packed. He was going to get away. He pulled his distinctive... Superhuman. Yep. So that is Hero of Ages. I got wrong. The host I got right. My second book, Azen, or Azen, whatever. I got right. Mm -hmm. Heroes of Olympus, I got right. The Eternity Cure, I got wrong. I, I feel a little wrong. Tempted, I knew it was House of Night. Most of these, I knew the series. <laughs> Infinity, I got right. I've got Breaking Dawn, I got right. Assassin's Blade and Superhuman, I both got right. Which brings my total up to 6 out of 10. This is Which is probably better than I'll get. <laughs> So now you can't read Tempted or Breaking Dawn for mine. Because I'd probably forget. <laughs> but nice, but see, you just kept reading and. Well, that's what they did in the videos, so. Because it usually helps. That's probably what I'll do with you, too. I hope. <laughs>